Elizabeth, who teaches at a junior high school, is a woman in her middle age. She would seem to be a very responsible and caring person given her line of work. The exact opposite of everything. Elizabeth is actually a rude and careless person who yells at the students and forces them to watch movies in class. She usually has either an alcoholic or drug-related hangover. Elizabeth only wants to marry a wealthy man and take all of his money. This is her only goal in life. She's a gold digger, in short. Elizabeth is currently dating the son of a very wealthy businessman, and things are going well for her. So she arrogantly quits her job at school one day, claiming that she no longer needs to work. When she gets home, she finds her boyfriend and his mother waiting for him. In an unexpected turn of events, the guy says he no longer wants to marry her. He has finally realized that Elizabeth is only concerned with his money. She has been stealing money from his wallet, his office, and even his mother's room for months in order to buy expensive items for herself. Elizabeth tries to explain that it is not the case, but he refuses to listen and storms out. This puts Elizabeth in a difficult situation. Her dream of becoming wealthy has not only been dashed, but she is also out of work. Elizabeth looks for work for a few months, but no one hires her because she lacks talent. Finally, she swallows her pride and returns to her old workplace, the junior high school. On her first day, she runs into her old adversary, Amy Squirrel, and the two exchange insulting words. It is clear that they both despise each other intensely. Elizabeth then returns to her classroom, where the students are overjoyed to see her. She, on the other hand, couldn't care less. She doesn't even teach them anything, and instead begins eating breakfast there. When the students begin to request new lessons, she turns on the television and forces them to watch Stand and Deliver, claiming that it will help them improve their grades. She then pulls her jacket over her face and falls asleep in class. During the lunch break, Elizabeth reconciles with Lynn, a fellow teacher, and her only friend at school. The two talk about their lives, and Elizabeth reveals that she plans to have breast enhancement surgery to make herself more attractive to wealthy men. Meanwhile, we meet the school's gym teacher, Russell. He's had a huge crush on Elizabeth since the beginning, but she's never entertained him. This is due to the fact that he lacks the only quality she looks for in men, wealth. When a handsome guy named Scott starts working as a substitute teacher at the school one day, Elizabeth immediately starts circling him. She runs into him at just the right time and introduces herself. She then cleverly forces him to reveal his marital status, which is single. Scott reveals that he recently ended his relationship with his girlfriend and even shows a picture of her. Elizabeth is envious because the girl has a large chest. She also assumes that Scott only likes those women, so she decides to have breast augmentation surgery. In the following scene, Elizabeth visits a clinic and prepares to fill out the surgery form. But when she learns that the procedure will cost her $9,000, she immediately cancels. Elizabeth doesn't even have $50 in her bank account, so she'll have to wait for now. That night, she calls all of her friends and acquaintances in the hopes of receiving a donation for the surgery. However, because they are all aware of her true nature, they simply hang up the phone. Elizabeth then returns to her ex-boyfriend and demands that he pay her $9,000 as restitution for their divorce. But, much to her chagrin, he also refuses and disconnects the call. The following morning, as Elizabeth is passing the time in class as usual, one of the students approaches her and asks if she wants her car washed. She goes on to say that the entire class will take part in the annual car wash event, which will be a lot of fun. Elizabeth doesn't even pay attention to what she says, but when the student reveals that they earned $6,000 the previous year, she is taken aback. Elizabeth then inquires as to which teacher is leading them to the event, only to find out that it is none other than her nemesis, Amy. Despite the setback, Elizabeth is determined not to pass up such a golden opportunity, so she goes to the principal's office and begins seducing him with her looks. When he becomes aroused, she requests that he put her in charge of the car, wishing event rather than Amy. To her surprise, he agrees without hesitation. The following morning, Elizabeth dresses provocatively for the event. She then begins washing the cars while drenching herself in water. 
The women are shocked, but the men are pleased. Even a police officer is captivated by her beauty, so much so that he collides with another vehicle. Elizabeth then demands additional funds from the men, claiming that her school is in desperate need of additional funding for the students. Surprisingly, the plan works, as she is able to make around $10,000 by the end of the day. Elizabeth donates half to school while keeping the other half for herself. Meanwhile, Amy finds out of this and goes to the principal in a raid. The latter is relieving himself in the toilet, so the sudden invasion of his privacy is understandably infuriating. Amy accuses Elizabeth of stealing from the school's funds and demands that she be punished. However, the principal says he can't do anything until solid evidence against her is found. The following day is the annual parent teacher meetings at school. Many parents have gathered in Elizabeth's class as expected because they are all upset with how their children are being educated. They confront Elizabeth and demand to know why she never teaches and always watches movies in class. She simply responds, don't teach me how to do my work. When the meeting concludes, a concerned father approaches Elizabeth and hands her $200, requesting that she pay special attention to his son. This sparks another thought for our astute protagonist. She meets with each parent individually and takes money from them while promising to give their children individual attention. Elizabeth is now only $2,000 away from having her breast enhancement surgery. As time passes, she continues to be irresponsible and completely ignores her students. Although Elizabeth rejects the gym instructor's advances, she does develop a friendship with him. Amy, on the other hand, has begun to pursue the wealthy and attractive Scott. Elizabeth is envious because the two have grown close and are always together. Lynn, her best friend, informs her one day that the school is planning a competition for teachers. Whoever gets their students the highest grades on the upcoming state test will receive a $5,000 cash prize. Elizabeth is overjoyed when she hears this and decides to finally begin teaching her students. So, starting the next day, she arrives early to class and forces everyone to open their books, shocking them. Elizabeth also makes certain that they have homework and daily assignments. This continues for a few days and the students improve significantly. However, it is still insufficient to pass the upcoming state test, which is only a few days away. Elizabeth decides to take matters into her own hands because she is desperate to win the $5,000 cash prize. That night, she dresses seductively and approaches Carl, a state professor in charge of creating and distributing test questions. The plan succeeds, and the man is immediately aroused and takes her to his home. When Carl goes to his room to prepare, Elizabeth spikes his drink with sleeping pills, which he later consumes and falls asleep. Elizabeth takes advantage of the opportunity and steals the questions from him to give to her students. The following week, the test results are released, and all of her students pass with excellent scores, crowning her victorious. Elizabeth wins the $5,000 cash prize, and now she has enough money to have the surgery. So, without any more delay, she rushes to the clinic and makes an appointment. The next day, however, she is disappointed to learn that Scott has begun dating Amy. They appear to be madly in love with one another. Elizabeth is furious that her nemesis has foiled her plans yet again, but she refuses to give up. The following week, the school will take all of the students on a tour with Scott and Amy in charge. When Elizabeth discovers this, she devises a devious plan. She injects an apple with a chemical and leaves it on Amy's desk, knowing how much the fruit she adores. Amy, as expected, bites into the apple without asking where it came from. Her face is covered with rashes and allergies by the evening. The principal appoints Elizabeth to replace her on the tour, fearing that she will spread it to the students. In the following scene, Elizabeth seizes the opportunity and develops a close relationship with Scott. They even have private intercourse that night. In the meantime, an envious Amy begins looking for evidence to expel Elizabeth from school. She arrives at class and attempts to scan her desk, but most of the drawers are locked. As a result, Amy swaps her desk with Elizabeth's and has a janitor open the drawers. 
She is ecstatic when she discovers the question papers Elizabeth stole from Carl. Amy then goes to the principal's office and tells him everything she knows about Elizabeth's cheating to help her students get good grades. The principal believes her this time but says he can only fire Elizabeth if Carl confesses to the story. Amy confronts Carl in his office the following day and blackmails him into confessing everything. She threatens him with public exposure of all his wrongdoings if he does not comply. The poor fellow reluctantly agrees. Elizabeth is having a good time with the students on the tour. She even makes one of the bullied boys popular by lending him her underwear. Russell is blown away by this. He compliments Elizabeth on her generosity, and she compliments him on his honesty and good looks in return. Amy arrives on the scene and taunts Elizabeth that she is about to be arrested. Hearing this, our protagonist realizes that the stolen test papers have been discovered, and she devises her own plan. She pays her roommate and instructs him to deliver a package to Carl as soon as she arrives home. When the latter receives the package and opens it, he discovers several naked pictures of himself that Elizabeth had apparently taken when he was knocked out. She now asks him to make a false confession in exchange for her keeping his photos hidden. Carl is now in a difficult situation because both of the ladies are blackmailing him with their demands. But after much deliberation, he chooses Elizabeth and lies about never having met her. Then Elizabeth comes forward and claims that someone in the school has been using narcotics in class. It is revealed here that Amy had switched desks while she was away. The lower drawer contains the test papers while the upper drawer contains the narcotics. Amy has no idea what's in this drawer because it's still closed. As a result of Elizabeth's claims, several cops storm the school and begin searching all of the desks. When Amy's turn comes, the narcotics are discovered and she is immediately arrested. This effectively ends the war between the two ladies. Scott approaches Elizabeth in the final scene and asks her out on a date, expressing his feelings for her. Surprisingly, she declines him. Elizabeth claims she already has someone in her life who is intelligent, caring, and attractive. She then turns to Russell and passionately kisses him, thus initiating their relationship. Elizabeth also cancels her breast enhancement surgery because she no longer wants to attract wealthy men. The film concludes with Elizabeth promising to be a serious teacher and assist all of her students in achieving excellent academic grades in the future. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help this channel grow. Turn on notifications for newest video. Thank you and see you next time.